going to talk about the axis cavity of anterior teeth. We start with the upper central incisor. Here we can see the palatal surface of upper central incisor. The axis cavity should be above the cingulum. We start with high speed hand piece and small rounded bear to make small drop. The bear should be angled 90 degree to the palatal surface, then rotate it to be 45 degree angle. Then it should be parallel to the long axis of the root. The movement should be slow. Penetration continues until the roof of the pulpit chamber is penetrated. Here we can see the drop. Then we roof the pulpit chamber by stroke movement to remove all unnecessary dentin that may cover the bulb tissue of bulb chamber and to facilitate the instrumentation step after access cavity step we check the axis of an instrumentation to the canal by k file number 10 then we check the cavity by sharp probe if there are catches we should remove it again by stroke movement which is in out movement we catch the unnecessary dentine or the step and then pull it out then we check it again if there are catches they should be removed Finally, all walls are derived and flared. There are no catches. We check the straight line axis of an instrument. We can see the triangular shape of the axis cavity. The axis cavity of our central incisor and lateral incisor is triangular shape. This is our result. Thank you.